Hi, my name is Jesse at Trash Panda, and today is day one of making a disc out of a different type of plastic every day for five days. For those who don't know, I posted my very first video and launched Trash Panda on June 5th, 2020. And after a few months of making my own injection machine and designing my own mold, I made my first recycled disc on September 28th. Since then, I've made four different molds to perfect the design, prototype new plastics, and recently got sidetracked by the overwhelming demand on minis. But don't worry, my eyes are still on recycled discs. I mean, that's what I got into this whole thing for. But the whole reason I haven't made recycled discs available to the public is because of the plastic. It just hasn't been right. So while I was making a thousand minis, I was also studying and collecting plastics in the background. So starting today, I'm gonna make a disc out of a different type of plastic every single day and make a video to bring you along for the journey. Welcome to day one. This is polypropylene. You know, takeout containers, nug jugs, etc. Some of you might remember that a while back I made a disc out of it, but it didn't seem to melt right and I didn't have enough plastic to keep testing. Oh, and I didn't know what melt flow was at the time. To any of you who knows much about plastics, just close your ears for a second. And to everyone else like me who doesn't know much about plastics, one type of plastic can actually have different melt flows, which basically just means the rate at which it flows when melted. A low melt flow like four flows way slower than a high melt like 30. And since I'm self-taught, this is something I just learned about. So let's see if one is actually easier than the other like it's supposed to be. Okay, both the discs are cooling, but the four to five melt was like, felt pretty normal. And the 30 melt was stupid easy. Like, unreal. I really wish I knew about that before making a thousand minis. <sighs> Okay, day one was a total success. We learned that high melt flow is definitely the way to go and I've been working hard for nothing. <laughs> I can already see these are holding up way better than the one I made previously out of polypropylene. I'm not totally sure why, but we can figure that out. Interestingly, I don't think melt flow really affects the flight. And lastly, the all black looks super rad. Honestly, with a little more prototyping, I might feel comfortable making these prototypes available to the public. But for this week, we still have a little more testing to do. So that's all I've got for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to support the channel and we'll see you tomorrow. With the recent announcement of their franchise that just opened in Denver, I'm super stoked to announce another round as my official shop sponsor. And this basically just means two things. Firstly, they don't do discounts, but they totally hooked it up for you all. So from this point forward, get 10% off your entire order with code TRASHPANDA. And to make things even better, I sent them 20 minis that will randomly be thrown into 20 different orders this week only. So order anything from their website, snag a discount with code TRASHPANDA, and if you order this week, you may just get a little surprise in your order.
Thank you.